This HAN Network video is brought to you by Carl Chevrolet. On the campus of Darien High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Winter Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the indoor track and field captains for the Blue Wave. They are Erica Blaze, Abigail Cragen, Carrie Blatney, and Kimmy Olvani. Girls, thank you so much for taking time with us this afternoon. Kimmy, let me start with you. Entering into the winter season, first practice of the day, mm -hmm. what are the emotions like out here? Um, I think everybody's really excited to finally come back. Um, there's definitely a lot of energy here. It's good to see everybody um, back in season because we've had a lot of um, time in between the end of the outdoor season last year and right now. So we're used to sort of seeing each other every day for a long time between the indoor and outdoor season. So it's finally good, it's good to finally be back and um, see everybody again. Excited to see what the season has in store. Uh, Carrie, this is obviously the first official practice of the preseason, but you guys had some optional workouts uh, in the weeks leading up to that. What was that like for the girls? How was everyone maintaining, staying in shape during the off season? Um, well, I think definitely a lot of people do sports in the fall, whether it be cross country or any other uh, sport or any other fall sport. And so I think people are definitely they're either kind of getting back into shape or getting back into running shape. And I think that was really good. That's one of obviously one of the main goals of preseason. And I think it also really allowed us like to bond anybody who came to preseason. I think we're all kind of in this together, really ready to start the season. And all the freshmen who are coming out today are really, they're also obviously really excited to be here. And I think they can tell, like we set that mood in preseason and we're all just kind of ready for, ready for the season now. Well, I'm glad you mentioned those freshmen because Abigail was gonna say, what role does this group play now this season? in helping to get those freshmen acclimated to this roster and ready to contribute to the varsity squad. Yeah, so uh, this season we're running our team a bit differently and we're definitely trying to get the freshmen like really involved and get them trying as many events as possible because we found that a lot of people don't know that they could be really good at a, like a random field event, like they might be really good at high jump or long jump and they might not know. So we've been really kind of making sure that the freshmen get as much experience as possible to as many events as possible and having uh, captains that kind of cover a wide range of all the events, it's been really helpful to get the freshmen involved in all that track has to offer. And everything on the track, as important as that is. Erica, off the track, though, what does this group do together socially that really builds that team camaraderie? Well, we've been planning a few bonding opportunities um, that will come up later in the season. Uh, track is such a big team that I think it's so important to get everyone to know each other um, because in practice you might not be next to everyone and with everyone. So we're going to do some fun things. We have some fun things in store for the upcoming season. You talk about a big team. Outside of this group, who are some of the other girls that could be contributing this year we should keep an eye out for? Well, we have a uh, fellow senior, Casey Grady, who got uh, he, who got first, I believe, in FCX last year. And then we have our 4x800 relay, who went to state opens last year, who are really awesome. That's Kimmy Carey, but also uh, Marley Garfield and Cameron Appleby. And then uh, Skylar Ford is a sophomore who placed in the pole vaulting last year. So that's really awesome to have her back. Abigail, a lot of experience on this roster returning for this season. How do you guys want to use that as a positive and continue to improve now in 2017, 2018? Yeah, we're really lucky because we have a lot of depth this year where we didn't lose too many like really amazing runners that we have a lot um, within our juniors and our sophomores and even with our senior class. So uh, this should be really beneficial to our team. And I think we're going to see a lot of growth within a lot of the people that we've had from last year. And it should be really awesome to see everyone just develop more into their uh, events. Carrie, if this team wanted to set goals for the season, what are you guys hoping to accomplish together? Um, well, I mean, I know Erica mentioned the 4x8, and we're definitely looking to come back again. I mean, we won states last year, so that was awesome. So the 4x8 did, and we're really looking to do that again. We've been all training hard. We all came preseason. Um, and then on top of that, too, I know we really want to come back and win SDAC East again. Um, before last year, we had won it for uh, quite a few years in a row, and so we're definitely looking to come back with that. And then I know everyone else also has their personal goals, but the main team goal is definitely the FCAC East, so that's what we're striving for right now. Well, Kimmy, if you guys are going to win FCAC East, what do these girls have to do on and off the track, on and off the track leading up to that race? Um, I think that we're definitely sort of um, kicking into high gear this season. We're starting off pretty <laughs> strong, I would say. Um, Definitely intensifying our workouts a little bit, and um, we with our new sort of incoming program that we set up to um, make sure that everybody is trying every event. Um, just making sure that everybody has an event that they're really good at um, to definitely focus on instead of um, that beginning of the first couple of meets where you try a couple and don't really know where you fit in yet, especially for the new people. So just going in really strong um, and definitely having something to focus on is going to be really important. I think this season. 
Well, girls, it was a lot of fun talking with you. We're going to let you get back out there, get back to those tempo <laughs> laps. We don't want to keep you away from those any longer. Uh, great job today. Good luck this season. We can't wait to see you in the blue wave out there on the track. Thank, Thank you. you. Alongside the indoor track and field captains, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Winter Sports Tour from Darien High School. Stay tuned as we roll on through the rest of the conference.